Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. We're out here on Dixie Highway at Big Hop Southern Eatery. Uh, I didn't really know much about this place, but somebody gave me a recommendation a couple months ago when I was doing a review at uh, Bandit's Pizza. I had this nice lady named Reba. She jumped in, did a little cameo review helping me out. I tried to get her a slice. I had the hot sauce on it. She said, no, sir. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. I got to take Camel's commercial slogan because it is Mm -hmm, good. So anyway, Reba, she gave me her top soul food recommendation, which was Big Hops. So she got my attention, saying that was her top pick. So Reba, I'm putting the pressure on you. We came out, of the, out here today because of you. So me and Ryan, we're going to put on the feed bag. I know they got some good catfish, some other good stuff. So we're going to go on in there and check it out. You got anything, Ryan? Nothing to add, just ready to eat. All right, here we go. Going to do some damage. Hello, everyone. This is Brian, your local mortgage broker here in Louisville. If you want to buy a house, but you don't have a lot of money for down payment, uh, we can help. Please give me a call. Uh, we have some great down payment assistance programs that can get you into a house with little or no money down. Brian Curl, Wholesale Mortgage Source, 502-738-1003. Before the church crowd gets here, I'm going to kind of show you around the place. You know, they got the front dining room entrance, which you come in the front door over there. And then, you know, they got a lot of tables. This place is a lot bigger than what I had thought. Got the widescreen TV if you want to watch the games. They got some high top tables over here. And then you swing around and they got uh, kind of some quaint, cozy booths back here. Look like, you know, it'll be nice for date night. You want a little privacy? Pretty cool. There's also a separate entrance for if you want to do carry out. Carry out only entrance. You come in there and they got a steam hello, table. Hello. You can get quick service uh, cafeteria style right there. And they got their own side uh, carry out section, which is really cool. You got an entrance and then you got an exit door which i could see i bet you they did a lot of business during covid having their own little separate side to go business and then you walk around the front over here and then you go around to the front dining room entrance really good setup here of course right here on dixie highway they got a patio here which is not set up at the time i guess they may be taking that down for the summer but i could see this being pretty cool watching all the cars go by up and down dixie here Look at that old car over there. That's really cool. All right, and if you're wondering if the barbecue is authentic, they use cherry wood over there. So it's the real deal. If you go to a barbecue place and you don't see a stack of cherry or hickory wood out back, uh, just keep the car going because it's not real. All right, so Ryan is going to start off with an appetizer, mushrooms. And I had seen on some reviews that their mushrooms were really good. And you can tell that these are not uniform, like out of frozen out of a bag. These are fresh and ham breaded. So go ahead, Ryan. Right. Tell me what you think. Let's try, it. Let's try it without sauce first. I got a horseradish sauce instead of the ranch because I think that'd be delicious. But... Don't burn the roof of your mouth off. Sometimes you get a hold of those mushrooms and it don't look like it's hot, but the inside is just like on fire. It is hot, but luckily I was able to weather that. Um, it's delicious. Yeah, though. so Ryan, you don't mind if I get one of your mushrooms, do you? <laughs> All right, what you got there, Ryan? I got the Boom Boom Shrimp Salad. Got some shrimps with the butt. Good boom boom seasoning, little cucumbers. 
Wow, those are baby cucumbers. Probably a lot better tasting than regular sized cucumbers too. Hmm. So tell me the story about these shrimp. They are a boom boom shrimp, kind of a fried shrimp with a little bit of a spicy, what they call boom boom sauce on it. Didn't, you know, that doesn't need all the extra dressing because it's got all the shrimp sauce on there. Oh yeah, here comes mine. All right, we'll be back in just a second. I'm gonna start digging in. All right, so as you see, We've got the smothered pork chops we're going to start with. Go ahead, young lady, and just set all that down there. All right. Wonderful. All right. So, and I got the collard greens. Oh, I hadn't forgot. We got cornbread. Out of sight. All right. This is a smorgasbord. Go ahead and lean back, Ryan. Kind of show everything here. But I'm going to go one by one and describe each plate. All right. Smothered pork chops first. I gotta put the scalini on there. <coughs> Sorry, haters, but I'm gonna eat it just like I like it. If you don't like it, don't put the hot sauce on it. All right. Got the good looking gravy there. Mmm. Pork chops are tender, perfectly cooked. So you got onion in the gravy, and the breading is zesty. All right. Now look at these uh, collard greens. You know these didn't come out of no can. These are fresh picked. Uh, even got a little stem in there, but they pull, they pick them off the main stem so you don't get the big stems in there. These look wonderful. Mm. Mm. These greens are the real deal, folks. All right. Now the pinto beans. Gotta try the cornbread with the beans. Mm -hmm. Cornbread. They use that yellow cornmeal. Very little sweetness to it, which is the way I like it. I don't like it where it's sticky and sugary. This is perfect the way I like it. You like cornbread, this not corn cake. This is like my cake. grandma, Irene Goodall, made it. Back when I was a kid, she'd make it in a skillet, in a cast iron skillet. Tastes just like that. By the way, my grandma, Irene, she'll be 102 in January. So she's still kicking and going strong. All right, be back with the next plate in just a second. All right. So we're moving along to Ryan's. What you got there? This is an oxtail rice. Man, throw off the bone. I know y'all out there in Middletown, y'all don't know nothing about this oxtail. Mm. That sounds like love. Made a little involuntary animal noise there. Wow. I mean, that is tender, juicy. The gravy has a great, nice peppery flavor to it. Oh, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Onion. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's spot on. I, I couldn't ask for better. I mean, that's delicious. Okay. Special of the day on Sunday is soul food, so come in here on Sunday. All right. Go ahead and taste that mac and cheese while I got you here. And that looks like baked. Baked goodness there. You got crusty that. Oh, man. Uh, top there. And that's the part I go for right there. Mmm. Wow, that's uh, definitely not your store bought. I mean, that's that's what I want at Thanksgiving dinner. You know, well, really every meal, but <laughs> if I can't have that, then. All right, well, we'll be right back. I'm gonna show you my next plate. All right, so I saw this on the menu. One of the most interesting items that I've ever seen before is catfish with spaghetti and meat sauce. That's like two meals within a meal. So, you know this spaghetti's gotta be slapping. All right, 
Oh, and I see it's got lots of meat in it. And I see onion in there. When I took that first bite, I heard Commodore music playing in the, <laughs> the back of my brain with a Lionel Richie. If I didn't have neighbors over here, I'd be disturbing. I'd probably break out, break out into some Commodore's music. All right, let me go ahead and take this bite. Now, moment of truth here. Look at that catfish filet. Woo. Oh yeah. Mmm. Crunch. Did you hear that crunch? I heard it. Oh yeah. Let me get that bite here with that. Got the little uh, spaghetti sauce on it. Mmm. 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 catfish is the truth. Look at that white and flaky. And that cornmeal breading is crunchy, but the fish is good and soft in the middle. I'm telling you what, this, dang, on it. This could be the best catfish. Yeah, this could be the best catfish in town right here. All right, I'm work on this and I'll be back on my next plate. Be right back. All right, Ryan made a suggestion to try something here, and I gotta agree with him. He says, put the catfish on the spaghetti. Cause this spaghetti sauce is out of sight. Ryan, good minds think alike. Cause that's the way you should do it right there. When y'all come out and get this catfish and spaghetti, eat it in the same bite. That's that's a flavor burst right there. All right, be back just a second. You wanted to know if that spaghetti and catfish was good. There it is. The, the toast, the garlic toast was like Texas toast. That was wonderful too. Sopped up the rest, rest of that spaghetti sauce with it. All right, so moving along. I got the rib tips with another order of collard greens and the mac and cheese. Which by the way, Mackenzie, when you see this video, you'll be happy to know I'm gonna save you at least two of these rib tips if I can't, you know, unless I lose control and just have to eat them all. But you know I love these rib tips. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry about the animal noises. But these are tender, cooked perfect, great sauce that's on there. That sauce is out of sight. All right. Let me try my mac and cheese now. All right. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. Good and cheesy. All right, I'll be right back, show y'all my next plate. All right, while I'm eating this, also, I got it came, uh, the spaghetti and catfish came with a side salad. So, and this is a nice side salad. It comes with egg, onion. I didn't even ask for the onion, it came with it. And look at these like little bitty baby cucumbers. I gotta taste one of these just by itself. I never had a cucumber like that. Mm. That's very tasty. All right, let me get this egg on there too. Mm. Everything's just top notch. I probably got dressing and barbecue sauce all over my face. I'm going to try another one of these rib tips. That first one was so good. I want to make sure that all of them are like that. 
I want to know that you didn't even put any skleen on the rib tips. They must be. This food's so good, I forgot all about the hot sauce. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna work on this. Probably gonna get some to-go boxes. I know Melissa likes the smothered pork chops. I'm gonna save her at least one. And Mackenzie's gonna get a couple of the rib tips. So we'll be back. I'm gonna give you some final thoughts outside. Be right back. You never know. Lionel Richie might even join us out there. Oh boy. Even the bathrooms in here are clean as a pen. Smells like sunshine. All right, I almost forgot to get out of here without getting the banana pudding. So, you know, I go to a soul food place. I got to do the banana pudding. And this looks like just the way I like it. See, you got the whipped cream there on the top. I see you got the vanilla wafers. Fresh banana. See that banana slice there? They're not playing. Oh. I'm sorry, Tim Page and Soulful Choices, but this is just as good, if not better, than y'all's banana pudding. And y'all's is top notch, I just gotta tell you that. And Y'all definitely need to get get here and support this place because I put this up against Franco's, Big Mama's. You know, I've been to all of the good places. So, uh, Big Hops, definitely got to come here. This is up there. When you talk about soul food in Louisville, you definitely got to mention Big Hops in the same conversation. So, all right, I want to uh, smash this pudding and then we're going to have some closing words. I'll be back in just a second. You got to mention the photo bomber that you just had in the background. Oh, yeah, we get somebody putting on a show. Yeah. All right, we'll be right, right back. Destiny and Terica here going to give us a little information. First of all, do any of you all know how long this place has been here? We have been open for two years. Two years, okay. That's why I hadn't heard of it. It's only been here two years. All right, and have y'all been here for a while? I've been here since five months. Okay, so Terica, let's start with you. What, what can you tell the folks out here about this place? to make them want to come here and try this food. Awesome, soul food. Fresh cooked every day. Come closer, Ryan, so you can hear. Order, order, cook the order, all the chicken, pork chops, and just everything's just awesome. Destiny, what do you it's got? It's just family food that you can come in and enjoy with your family and just this other cooking. That's okay. And let me just say, everybody here, beautiful people, everybody's friendly. Uh, it's family friendly, bring your kids, uh, just make you feel welcome and make you feel good about spending your money. All right, so before I get out of here, I said when I took that first bite of that catfish and spaghetti, it made me think of the Commodores. So here we are. Thanks for the time that you've given me. Mac ups. The memories are all in my mind. But now that we've come to the end of our rainbow, there's something I must say out loud. You once, okay. twice, three times, three times a lady, yeah. and I love you. Yeah. Yes, you once, twice. Three times a lady, and I love you. That's right. I love you. Yeah. All right. And y'all don't know nothing about this big hot southern eatery. That's right. You sounded good. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.